trial and a true test of how to manipulate and how to actually physically deal with the paintings. Now, as you are looking, you can see that it, there are really three different kinds of aspects of what his work is all about. One is very much about architecture. So when he is thinking about the landscape of the Midwest, he is thinking about it in an architectonic way, definitely the old references and bringing back the memories of what the era of the railroad, the steam engine, the use of the water towers during that time. And then, of course, before all the technology took over, then what happened on the farms with the silos and with the different elevators that were used to store grain and to use all kinds of different uh, things that were coming from the land. All of that is very much a part of what he is about. Also, what he is very much about would be what I just alluded to, memories. And with the memories, that is a very great thing about what you are seeing. You cannot help but look at cable cars. Everybody has had a tram experience of some kind or a cable car experience of some kind. You remember where you were, you remember where you've taken the tram, you remember what you've done, and it has just been a very, very, really wonderful uh, experience, or it's been a terrible <laughs> experience. So whatever the situation is, it brings back the memories. And the other aspect of what you are seeing is the alluding to something like Coney Island, or in the case of Chicagoans, they remember Riverview uh, Amusement Park very much so, or the people from Annapolis remember Riverside very, very dearly. And it's all something that is very much part of the past. Because you think about even Coney Island has had its problems, and certainly now it's Great America or something of that nature. It is not that every major city has its own amusement park. It has become a different kind of And I'm going to digress for just a while because it's a business. I think that that is Murphy Thompson downstairs. So if you could come around, I think that is Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There are those. Thank you, Michael. So now we can walk around and you can just look and then I'll let you uh, add it to the Two quick questions. Oh, sure. How old is William? He is uh, 45, just at his 45th birthday. And I think you maybe alluded or maybe, you know, I don't know much about art, but you said something that wasn't purely abstract. It is not purely abstract because I'm going to take you downstairs in a moment okay. and you are going to see some of the leading abstractions in Chicago and see what the difference is. Okay. This, this cool. is far more, but see, we think that you know, it, it, it works with that fashion because of the way that it is presented. So at any rate, this is called minimalism. Okay. And it's due to the idea of the negative space and the use of negative space mm -hmm. and the wonder in the way that he uses it because you feel of the activity going on. But when you look at this elevator right here, and you'll see some smaller ones in the back room, your mind finishes all of this. Oh, you, know, you know exactly the, the sky, and, and it's got to be a white elevator, but you finish that line there. But when you get up close, there is no painted line. It is just that the and sky you, becomes a part of the whole thing. The... Exactly. But the first, and see, you notice that right away. But most of us look at this first, mm -hmm. and so then everything else is all finished. Mm -hmm. But this is not, in his way of putting it, and that is a very abstract idea about form and about line. And the way that he uses line and everything he does is just an amazing wow. sense. Sometimes, like with the tram over there, he lets it, it's called, uh, I think, the top view of the tram. It, it just kind of fades away. And if it were a real one, you would be very concerned about it just kind of fading away. Thank you. It's good to see you. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, so it's, it's just one of those issues that he uses it all in a different way because here the lines of the cable cars are absolutely, definitely, and there, and they are a part of, of what the activity is, and you know that there's activity going on. There you can think almost anything you want to because mm -hmm. it's such an abstract idea. 
So that was an important question because you'll see this time and again where he alludes to something, but then you know what that illusion is and you know what it is that you're trying to get across, but it is elsewhere. And it's almost surrealism, but it's surrealism in a very minimal way. And usually surrealism gives you kind of a different kind of right. feeling. And he does the same thing with landscape. Somebody asked uh, during uh, his opening, he said, well, do you ever do trees? Well, right here. Right here's a tree. Right here is a tree. And if you look at the catalog that goes along with it, we do not have any of the landscapes right now. So we're looking forward to two years when he can get another body of work together for <laughs> some that have the landscapes. Because the landscapes definitely are of an aerial view in your own mind. We have no idea whether he has taken a photograph from the air or whether this is just his artistic sense of the way that he is dealing with landscape. Sometimes he does deal with photography and so that becomes his prototype for what he is going to paint. But mainly it is very much about his memories of seeing things and doing things with certain kinds of objects and then that becomes the painting as well. So this one it has a great landscape in it, but it is a Midwestern landscape that does not have the water incorporated, whereas he has done a whole series with water and land at the same time, too. Mm -hmm. And then I just wanted to bring you back here so you were not just the bridges. Oh, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for the bridges. And also, the, and this is a parachute drop here uh -huh. from uh, Museum Park. But this is an overview. The show is called Junctions 1997-2007. So some of these were done several years ago. He thought since he was giving us the very first show here that he wanted the continuity. He wanted people to know exactly from where he was coming. And so therefore, any of us who love bridges and, and, and we just love the whole structures of them, and then to see them done in a painterly way. It is so very realistic, and yet he plays all these perspective games with us. Mm -hmm. So when you are looking at it, you are looking at it in an entirely different way than if you were looking at a bridge from afar. But it makes you go right the way through it. His perspective is so great, and when you look at the tunnel uh, on the front, 